Hey, this is Eric, and in this video, we're taking a look at options to format text in a Google Form. So recently, Google has announced some updates that will give you more control over the fonts and formatting in Google Forms. This can make it easier for your students to read the text in the form, or allow you to create more advanced questions, or simply jazz up the look of your form. In this video, we're going to look at three options. First, how to change the font for different parts of your form. Second, how to format the text in the title, description, and questions. And third, how to format the text in the answers. Let's take a look at how this works. The first option we're going to look at is how to change the font for different parts of your form. This can be used to make the text more readable for the students or to add a thematic font to your form. First, click on the Customize Theme button in the top right corner of your form, which looks like a painter's palette icon. This will open up the Theme sidebar. Here you will find the Text Style section where you can change the font for the header and the questions and the text of your form. Simply click on the Font menu and select a new font from your list. Or you can click on More Fonts to add any of the 1400 available web fonts from Google. If needed, you can also change the font size. Changing the font can bring a little style to your form. For example, if you have a quiz about cow facts, you could change the title to the Moolala font. Or you could simply improve the readability of your form by choosing a font such as Lexend, which is designed to help struggling readers, and to apply that font to all the parts of your form. Next, we'll take a look at how to format the text in the form's title, description, and questions. Google has recently updated these parts of the form to support rich text, which includes bold, italics, underlining, hyperlinking, bulleted and numbered lists. To use the formatting, simply click on any text in the title or the description or any of the questions and you will get a formatting toolbar. For example, in the description of this quiz, we could use a bulleted list to list out the items that the quiz will cover. And we could use hyperlinks to link out to additional resources and support materials for these topics. Or for another example, we could use underlining or bold formatting to bring attention to words in a question that the students need to answer a question about. For example, let's say in this question, we want the word cat to be underlined. And then in this question, we want the word sat to be bold. Finally, we will take a look at how to format the text in the answers for a form. So at the moment, there's not a built-in way to format the answers. The built-in formatting only applies to the title, the description, and the questions, but not to the answers. Now, one way to work around this is to add an image to the answers and have that image be a screenshot of the formatted text. For example, you could type up your answers in Google Docs, apply the needed formatting, and then use any screenshotting tool that you prefer to select and save that image. That image could then be added to the answer in the form by clicking the Add Image button and then uploading that image. We can now repeat that for each of the possible answers. Another all-in-one option would be to use the Equatio extension. Although we normally use this extension to add math to a Google Form, you can also use it to add rich text. 
This extension is free for educators. See the links in the description below this video to install the extension, to register as an educator, and to read more about how the tool works. As a quick example, if you have the Equatio extension installed, you can click on the Equatio icon next to any answer to create the rich text. In the Equatio editor, you can add text, and you can also format it with bold, italics, and underline. Or you can simply add in a line break, which cannot normally be done for answers in Google Forms. When done, we can click the Insert Math button to add the formatted text to the form answer. Again, we can now repeat this for the rest of the answers. And that's it. Using these features and tools, you can format the text in your Google Forms to make it easier for students to read and to add richer questions, answers, and content. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com and to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. All of the links are in the description below. Thanks so much and take care.